Hey everybody, David Loach here with Loach Landscapes. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to connect and disconnect your Boss Snowplow from your truck. Before we get to that though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell to stay up to date on all things Loach Landscapes and what I'm talking about on the channel. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay guys, we are back. So as I mentioned, today we're gonna to be talking about how to connect and disconnect your Boss snowplow to your truck. I have two different Boss snowplows. I got the uh, Super Duty straight blade plow as well as the V plow. So there's my V plow. There's my straight blade Super Duty. And for the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna use this one as the example on how to connect and disconnect. Basically, it's the same for both, but I'll go over the one specific difference between the two. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna get this truck set up today. Uh, the most important thing, or the first thing obviously that you wanna do, is you want to try and align the two hooks on the mount that's connected to your truck to the two hooks here on the plow so this may take a couple times for you to get in and out of the truck for you to uh, get that set up thankfully i am pretty much aligned so uh, i'll go ahead and get in the truck start it up and get pulled up to the plow so stay tuned guys okay so i just pulled up to the uh to plow um, basically, you can see here that the hook or the mount on the truck is aligned perfectly with the plow. The first thing you're going to want to do, go into the truck, grab the plow mount, make sure it's turned on, and you're going to put it into what's called float mode. So you're going to hold down on the middle button until it turns red. So the plow, the plow is now in float mode. That's uh, one of the first things you're going to do. Then you're going to grab the wires from the truck and on the plow, and you're gonna connect the two. Grab this one, connect it as such. Then you're gonna grab this one, connect it. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, flip these two switches, one here and one here, to the lock position. So you can see the lock there. Switch that over, switch this one, over. And so these two levers, they are controlling the pin that is gonna eventually slide over through this hole on both sides, okay? Now that the plow is in float mode, I have those two wires hooked up and the two switches flipped over to the lock position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold up this button until I hear those two pins lock in position. So, here we go. Okay. You may have heard those two pins lock into position. One of the things I do is I'll just feel right here to make sure that that pin came through. I'll take a look over to the other side. You can see right there that the pin is through. So that's super important just to make sure those pins are in the lock position. And then finally, the only thing left to do is to uh, lift up the kickstand. So the kickstand is what holds up the straight blade plows. You don't want to make sure that you drive away with that down. It will break and you'll have to replace it. So uh, we'll just lift it up. So that it's out of the way. And there you go. You're ready to go. Put the plow up and drive away at this point. So uh, for my V plow, it's also a boss. So I have two trucks. I have two plows. The mounts are interchangeable as long as you get the right one for the truck. So if I wanted to use my straight blade on my Ram, I could do that. If I wanted to use the V plow on my Chevy, I could do that as well. The hookup process on the V plow is exactly the same. So you have these two connection wires. You have the hydraulic lever here. You have the two lock and unlock switches on the mount and the same sort of controller inside the truck. The only difference with the V plow is that there's no kickstand. You'll notice that there's no kickstand. So when you're taking the plow off of this truck, you're gonna wanna make sure that the wings are in the V position. They're in as far as they can go. Um, that is what holds up this plow. So there's no kickstand with this plow. 
All right, guys, so uh, now that we have the plow on the truck, we are going to disconnect it. So pretty simple, straightforward, pretty much the same process as putting it on. You're gonna wanna make sure that the kicks down is down, number one. You're gonna wanna make sure that the uh, controller inside the truck is still on the float mode, which it is. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna flip these switches from lock position to the unlock position on both sides. And then simply you're just going to hold up this lever here. You're going to hear the, the pin snap out of place. Push the plow down. So the pins are now disconnected from both sides. All that's left to do is unplug the connection wires. Like so. And now you just got to back the truck away from the plow. It'll sit there nicely until you want to hook it back up. So there you have it, guys. Uh, super simple on how to connect your Boss Snow Plows to your trucks, both V-Plow and Straight Blade. I hope this was helpful for you guys looking to get into the snow business or looking to purchase a Boss Plow. Super simple. I am going to also create a video on the differences, the pros and the cons between a Straight Blade and a V-Plow. There are a few now that I have both. So check that video out as well. And again, don't forget to... Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel like this video if it uh, brought any value to you and uh, looking forward to talk to you guys again soon take care